Good morning everybody on a rainy Thursday. We have left Linney Lockside Holiday Campsite. We've driven about 20 minutes and we are now at the Glen Finian Viaduct to watch the, uh, Jacobite. the Jacobite steam train or the Harry Potter steam train which is going to go by here in about an hour or so. Um, it's really well organised here if you want to come to here. There's a visitor centre, a cafe which isn't open yet. There's also a second car park. If you go past the first one, you come into the second one, and then there's, this area is reserved for motorhomes with a big overhang at the back so that you can park without taking up too much space. So fingers crossed that we can see the train, and of course we're gonna take you along with us, and let's go and have a look and see if we can stay dry. Hi, we're James and Rob, and this is our dog, Oscar. It's a really steep learning curve when you start your motorhome, campervan, or caravan journey, and there is lots that we wish we had known. So we decided to document what we have learned and share with you our adventures as we head out on the road again. Over a bridge, crossing the stream, there's the viaduct in the distance. So we are headed to the other side of the viaduct to watch. Put the guy in the red jacket, or girls. That's where we're going to go. Yay! Yay for lots of exercise. It's worth noting that you can actually ride on the train. We did look at it, but because we didn't pre-book it, the earliest we could get on the train is Saturday, and we won't be here by then. So if you do want to go on the train, where do you book it? Fort William to Malay. You have to pre-book it in advance. If you just uh, search Jacobite steam train, it will come up. So we are now starting our ascent. And there's a station museum yeah, one point ascent. Yeah, there's a station museum one point four kilometres. <laughs> Hopefully, that's not how far we've got to walk up here. A little. Uh, oh, hang on. We're here. Yep. 200 meters to the viaduct viewpoint, which is not that bad. No, and then all the way to the other end for the museum if you want to go that far. So 200 meters up here, let's head on up. So here we go, great view of the viaduct in the low clouds. And it's just 200 meters, so we can't be far from where we're going. 200 meters up. <laughs> yeah, uh, probably be even harder coming down in the slippery Definitely worth recommending walking boots. Yep, walking. James has got his new walking boots on. And yeah, you definitely don't want to come up here in high heels. Here we are, under the edge of the viaduct. Yeah, so we're about 40 minutes out from the train coming across and you can see that it's already pretty busy here. We're not so busy so we'll just find a nice spot to stand and wait. So this is our chosen spot. It actually wasn't a very long hike here, although I'm just out of breath as you can hear. But what a stunning view. And the low clouds just add to the atmosphere.
So uh, that was definitely worth the wait, don't you think? Yeah, definitely. We, we ended up standing up here about 35 minutes. Um, you can see how crowded it got. Let me just, oh dear, let me just quickly show you. You can see the mass exodus of people leaving. You can imagine on a summer's day how crazy this is. But we definitely recommend that you come and do it and even more so book on the train. But as we said earlier, remember, you need to book a few days in advance if One you want to make advance. sure you get a seat. So we're going to head back down now and we are going to check that Oscar's okay and take him out and then probably go and grab a coffee um, and then head start making our way to Loch Ness. So let's head on down. So when we arrived, there were no camper vans or motor homes. We were the only ones there. And now look, that is amazing. So you definitely need to get here early if you want to be able to secure a spot. So I hope you found today's video useful and you got a sense of what it's like to park and walk up to the viaduct, watch the train and then come back down. We recommend getting there early and definitely take a good pair of shoes. Now, if you found today's video useful and enjoyable, please give us a thumbs up and please hit the subscribe button and share with your friends and family because then the algorithm will show this video to more people and we can help more people. But other than that, we will see you next week as we head out on the road again.